Hey everyone! So I'm sure you're looking for a nice little distraction from uh, recent events, shall we say? Yeah. Well, same here. So, and I know that you guys like my videos a lot, so I'm going to teach you something today. Yeah, I'm going to teach you a new skill called finger knitting. Or you knit with your fingers. Now, some people say that finger knitting is harder than regular knitting. But I think it's easier. It's easier for me. Of course, I'm an Aspie, so, you know, I'm one of those Aspies that, like, sometimes what's harder for other people is easier for me, and what's easier for other people is harder for me. So, you're going to start with a little tail tucked in the crease made by your thumb when you squish your thumb to the uh, parts of your hand. Right here. Squish your thumb to your palm with this little yarn tail. Okay? And feel free to, at any time, pause the video and YouTube, you know, down in there, there's a little gear. And you can click it. That's your settings. And you can change the speed. If you want to watch faster, you can make it go faster. If you want to watch slower, you can make it go slower. The problem is that um, if you, um, slow it down to two, um, it'll, um, the sound probably won't work, so if you're an auditory learner, that might not be the best for you, but if you're a visual learner, it might be okay, um, but if you need both, then you, you should probably, um, you know, yeah, um, I'm a visual learner. Anyway, so... Here is this, okay, and you're going to take this yarn and you're going to put it in between your index figure, finger and your middle finger. And I want to say, you're going to want to um, make sure that your non-dominant hand is the one where you wrap the yarn around. And don't wrap too tight. Because otherwise you could cut off your circulation and that won't be good because then you'll have to lose fingers and that's never good. You know, you, getting your fingers cut off, that's not good. And if you're ambidextrous, pick a hand, any hand. Me? I'm wrapping the yarn around my left hand because I'm right-handed. And if you're a lefty, you would wrap it around your right. Okay, so you then wrap the yarn around the back of your middle finger. And you're just doing a weave. You're doing weave. And then you loop around your pinky, like so. And we do that again in slow-mo. And this is what the other side looks like. Okay. So, then you're going to wrap it around the back of your ring finger. And then front, the palm of your middle finger, and now you're going to stick around your pointer finger again, like this. Okay, and then you're going to do all of that again. If you want to watch it faster, you can watch it faster. If you want to watch it slower, you can watch it slower. And if you want to pause at any point, so you can process all this. Or if you want to um, go back, you can go back, you can pause. You know, do whatever works for you. You do you. Okay. And then now comes the part where we wrap it around pointer finger, the index finger, and we have a little tail. This is your working end going back here. 
Now, if you want to pause at this point, this would be a great time to do that. I'll give you a few. Okay. And so here's what you do next. Um, see what I'm doing here? This little loop, I'm going to tug on it a bit. And then I'm going to pull it over the back of my pinky so it dangles down like this. A little dangly loop. And then I'm going to do the same with my other fingers. The bottom loop goes over the top loop, guys, okay? You want to make sure that it's the bottom loop that you're tugging on. And if you need readers or something, you know, get some. Um... And now you're going to go like this, and like this, you're going to do your weave again, like this, uh-huh, oops, apparently my yarn doesn't want to cooperate, wait, what, oh wait, I didn't do my pointer finger yet, there we go, okay, now, wait, Now, once you've got this, you're going to do your weave again. Go around your pointer. On the back of your middle. Front of your ring. Back of your pinky. Loop around, down, and up, and down and up and I know this looks pretty bizarre so deal with it <laughs> okay so I'm gonna have your bottom loop come up over the top loop over the backs of your fingers you're gonna have your bottom loops go over the backs of your fingers and just let them sit there in the back. And if you want at any point, point um, well, at almost any point, not at any point, but in a little while, this little tail here, you can pull it down a little to um, make it more secure. Okay. Now, um, you're going to do this weaving and tugging and pulling over and over and over until you have the length that you want. Again with the weaving. <laughs> 